Today I've got a really cool little 22 revolver from the folks at Diamondback Firearms. Diamondback uh, down in Florida, they're a great company. They've been making some nice little pistols. They make some really good AR rifles and they make air boats. Uh, Jeff and I went down there for a couple of days here a few years ago and really had a good time with the folks down there touring the factory and riding around on the airboat and all that. It's just a great bunch of folks and they make a bunch of neat stuff. They uh, run thoroughly modern plant. They got all kind of CNC machines and running over everything with computers and it's it's just really amazing operation to see. And I understand that they've expanded quite a bit since the last time we were down there. Anyway, they're a great bunch of folks. They're friends of ours. They're good Southern boys, and they look to make great products at great prices that people can afford. This little 22 revolver is exemplary of that. It's called the Sidekick 22, and it is unique in several different ways on today's market. At first glance, the Diamondback Sidekick looks like your basic 22 small frame revolver. That there's uh, several different ones on the market, and uh, it. it just looks like one of them to start out with but you get into it a little bit you start to see that it differs in several important ways first of all while the, your basic 22 single action revolver uh, loads and unloads by flipping open a loading gate and doing them all one at a time the sidekick operates a little bit differently to load and unload the sidekick it's uh the cylinder pops out like on a double action revolver and uh, you load them up and you can pop them all out at one time with the ejector rod like on a basic double action revolver so it uh, looks like a single action but it loads like a double action this makes loading and unloading much faster than on a single action revolver and this is also not a single action revolver the sidekick is a double action revolver that just happens to look like a single action you can uh, it can fire just by pulling the trigger as a double action or you can cock the hammer and fire it like your basic single action revolver. It's a really cool deal like that. The first look I got at a sidekick was at a writer's event back in October of 2021 at uh, the Texas Gun Experience in Grapevine, Texas. Diamondback had one of these and it just immediately tripped my trigger when I looked at it and uh, pulled out the pin, swung the cylinder open. It really took me back the very first gun I ever owned was uh, one of the old Harrington and Richardson model 929 nine shot revolvers they didn't really look like a single action revolver they looked uh, they looked kind of as a hybrid amalgam of a single and a double action but it was a really cool gun because it was the first gun I ever got and it loaded in the same manner and it was a double action revolver also that old H&R 929 was a gun that really meant a lot to me because it was the first gun I ever owned of any kind when I was about eight years old my dad took me to a sheriff's auction in the county seat there in Clarksville Tennessee it's a decent sized county uh, northwest of Nashville and uh, we grew up on the outskirts of that town out in the county but uh, Dad took me to the county seat and uh, they was having a sheriff's auction on the square that day. That's back when uh, they used to, uh, they would auction off guns that they had seized in uh, different kind of crime raids or whatever. And they had this old H&R 929. And uh, I really wanted that thing. Dad let me get it. Uh, I remember it cost $7.00 at the auction I, I bid seven dollars for it which is nothing but that was a that was a princely sum for a eight-year-old kid and uh to show you how times have changed back in the day of course my dad was with me but i walked up to the sheriff's deputy and handed him seven dollars and walked away with my prize and that was back in the good old days back before you had to uh take a liver biopsy or something like that before you could buy a gun anyway it really filled my heart with nostalgia to see this because it operates in the same manner and it really threw my mind back to that old 929 i wish i knew whatever happened to that it's uh i don't have that gun anymore but uh it put a love in me for this type of, of gun that i've never lost i've now owned a bunch of h and r's including a 929 that was just like the one i had when i was a little kid but uh this was a very nostalgic gun to me, and I think it's really cool. To open the cylinder on the sidekick, you can do it in two different ways. First of all, to make this gun really look like a single action six gun, it has a 
an ejector rod housing on it, although this is not the ejector rod. This has nothing to do with ejecting your empties. What it is, it it uh, it, it lets you open the cylinder. There, where the ejector rod button normally is located on a single action, on these you push forward on that, and that lets you pop the cylinder open. Another way you can open the cylinder on this, and this is the way I instinctively did it because it's the way the old H&Rs worked, is you just grab the ejector rod underneath the barrel, pull it, and then pop the cylinder open. That's the way I normally did it, and then they pointed out to me that they had this other little way to do that, and that was pretty cool too, but uh, old habits die hard, I guess. And uh, you've got two different ways you can open the cylinder on these. Once you have the cylinder open, you can eject your empties with the ejector rod just like you would on a double action revolver. You load them all up at the same time or however you want to do that, just like a double action revolver. Pop it shut and you're ready to go to work. Another really cool thing about these is that it is a 22 long rifle, but it also has an extra cylinder and crane assembly for a 22 Magnum. And it's really easy to swap these things out on the fly. There's a little detent here in the end of the frame that you take a small punch or a small allen wrench or something like that you depress that you pull the cylinder out with the crane assembly and everything you pop your other one in there the only thing about these when you push in on the detent there's a spring and plunger in there when you pull the cylinder out you want to keep a finger or something over the end of that hole so that the uh, plunger doesn't go flying off into orbit somewhere but Trust me, I know about this. Once you change the cylinders for the first time and get the hang of how easy it is to do, it literally only takes seconds to swap cylinder assemblies on this thing. And that gives you the ability to go from 22 long rifle to 22 magnum safely, uh, which lets you, with the 22 long rifle, you know, you can do anything you do the 22. You can kill small game. Uh, you can have a lot of fun plinking inexpensively. You pop a 22 Magnum in there, and you're good to go for uh, medium-sized game. They're great. 22 Magnum's great for coyotes and such like that if you have coyotes around your place, as we do. And the 22 Magnum is also a decent little self-defense cartridge. I often recommend 22 Magnum for people who are recoil-sensitive or new shooters or... Uh, for whatever reason, they need to have something that will work but has less recoil. It works great for that. And with the nine round cylinder capacity on this and either 22 or 22 Magnum, you get 50% more firepower than you do in your standard six gun. The main frame and grip frame of the sidekick are made from zinc, which is a lightweight, easy to machine material that uh, helps to contribute to the low manufacturing cost of the sidekick. The barrel and the cylinder and the hammer and trigger no smaller parts are made from steel the uh, steel parts are blued the zinc parts are black cerakoted the matte blue finish on the steel parts and the uh, cerakoted zinc on the frame blend together to make a really nice dull black finish it's a nicely finished gun it looks good the barrel is four and a half inches has the uh, sidekick logo engraved into the side of it and it's just the right barrel length uh, a lot of six gun shooters prefer the four and a half inch barrel four and five eighths four and three quarter depending on who the manufacturer was but the uh, this barrel length is just right to me for this type of gun thanks to the zinc frame components the sidekick weighs about eight ounces less than your standard uh, 22 single action revolver of this similar configuration it, it handles very well and it you can carry it all day and not even know it's there the grips are glass filled nylon fully checkered with a diamond back logo molded into them the width of them and the shape of them are just right if you're used to handling a single action six gun it gives you plenty of room for purchase of the fingers and it just uh it works wonderfully feels great in the hand the sights are just what you'd expect on a single action style revolver. The front sight is a rounded blade. The rear sight is a groove in the top. They're a non-adjustable sight, but they're pretty easy to pick up. They're very small, like the old Colt sights, so it not really as quick to pick up as a lot of sights that you see nowadays. But the good thing about these sights is once you do pick them up, they're very precise because as small as they are, there's not much wiggle room in them. So it's easy to shoot this gun accurately. I'm hoping that Diamondback comes out with a model with adjustable sights because 
with the great variety of ammo that you can shoot in this thing from 22 shorts all the way up to 22 magnums uh, it would be nice to have an adjustable side on this because you're going to be shooting to different points of impact to point of aim and having an adjustable sided version will be a nice thing to have and I expect they will probably do that in the future. The sidekick is a double action and the trigger pull on these is not so good and excellent at the same time. The uh, double action pull is not awful but it is kind of heavy at uh, 11 pounds 11.3 ounces on my sample and uh, that's kind of a heavy pull but it's the heavy is all on the front end once you get the hammer moving it's really easy to, to follow through with your pull on it but it is an 11 pounds and change almost 12 pound trigger pull on this the single action trigger pull on this though is excellent it's a smooth and creep free a little bit less than two and a half pounds two pounds 6.8 ounces on average nice positive creep free smooth trigger pull and it really works great remington's golden bullet 22 long rifle 36 grain bulk pack hollow point is a dandy little load a long time ago uh, they weren't real reliable then they got their act together several years ago right now they're kind of in flux i haven't shot any of the new stuff i understand they are in production again i hope they're as good as they were but it's some dandy stuff One of my favorite 22 long rifle loads is CCI's 40 grain lead round nose target. It's just a wonderful standard velocity load. Shoots very easy and it's uh, very accurate. It's just one of my favorites. Arms Corps makes some of the best rimfire ammo available these days, whether it be long rifle or magnum. Uh, their 40 grain jacketed hollow point 22 magnum load is just a dandy load. It's one of my very favorites. It's a well designed bullet, good for getting small game and such like that, but it's also very accurate. The MSRP of the Diamondback Sidekick as of this date is only $320 US and uh, that is quite a value for what you get. You get a quality made gun made in the USA that is like nothing that's on the market today. It looks like a single action. It is a double action. You get both cylinders, 22 long rifle cylinder and 22 magnum cylinder. Uh, it's, it's a very versatile, it's accurate, it shoots wonderfully and it's a whole lot of gun for $320.